what is this video we're looking at right now? This is Twilight Princess, but... Oh, could it possibly be Challenge Sunday, installment number 7? No, that can't be right. There hasn't been one for a few weeks now. It's gotta have been cancelled, right? Well, no. This is it, guys. I'm finally coming back to Challenge Sundays. And, um, I'm really sorry for not having one for, like, the past five weeks. I know I've been really bad about that. But due to, like, illnesses and school and all that bad stuff, um, I just haven't had the time or the ability to make any count Sundays, but I'm gonna try and get back into making them weekly now. So, let's just start off with Twilight Princess here. We're gonna play the bird fruit minigame thing, and, um, yep, just see how many points you can get. Whoever gets the highest amount wins, and if we have a tie, then I'll just go, f I'll I'll wing it, we'll say. We'll just see how it goes. Alright, so the rules for this, there's only really one rule, and that's if, um, that's for how many, however many times you crash, like, crash into a wall and have to restart, that deducts a thousand points from your score at the end. Okay? And I'm trusting all of you to make sure that you show all of your crashes. I know some of you might feel tempted to just not show them and not have to deduct points, but you know if you want if you want this to be fair, then do it. Okay? So let's just get a start on here. And since I know I'm gonna get questions about this, yes you can play on either the GameCube or the Wii version. Just because I'm playing on the GameCube version doesn't mean that you have to too. Alright. Now that that's all out of the way, let's just get on with this mini game. Okay. Get the strawberry. Yum yum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's not much to talk about while I'm playing this. Um, some of you might be confused as to why I'm actually like playing the GameCube version, because when when you saw me play like Twilight Princess the first time, which was on a live stream, I was playing the Wii version. And so yeah, I'll I'll tell you a quick story while I do this. Um, I was actually like for. For like a few years now, like three three years or so, I thought I had lost my copy of Twilight Princess on the GameCube. But apparently I was just being stupid because earlier this week I checked inside my GameCube, which I haven't looked in forever, and there it was just sitting right there. Like I'm not kidding, I thought I had lost it and it was inside my GameCube of all places. It's just like, wow, how stupid can you get really? Yep. I'm doing pretty good, I should say. We're about to reach the end here, it looks like. Okay. And two more strawberries to get. That'll be good. Make for a good score, and I didn't even crash once, so... My final score looks like it's 51,212 points, if I saw that correctly. And I'm pretty sure I did. And fly on in, all epic-like. Uh, can't wait to LP this game, it's gonna be awesome. Alright. And, hmm, 51,212 points. Boo! That's nowhere near my personal best. So, wanna go again? No. I don't care about your personal best, Plum. Alright, so that's the Plum flying minigame. And, I guess that's it for this episode. As all, all the normal rules of Challenge Sunday apply here, obviously. And I can't wait to see how many of you guys enter. Alright, so... Thank you everyone for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night. Congratulations to Mr. Gray Daniel, who won the last Challenge Sunday with a score of 131 purple coins.